Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing well. I'm just gonna go straight to it. I'm just gonna go straight to it. Every reading on this channel, by the way, but I am gonna just say this. Number one, I love you. Number two, welcome. Number three, you're the best. Number four, gratitude. Number five, I appreciate you. Number six, sending you energetic hugs. And I wanna thank you guys for spamming me, spamming me with love down below, even if it's con commenting multiple times with emojis, whatever. I did tell you guys that YouTube has been messing with our, our algorithm to try to push channels that do YouTube shorts. And those of us that do long form content, they kind of are pushing us to the back burner. So by you commenting, you're letting YouTube know like, no, we still like this channel. So then they still recommend it on YouTube. Like my channel was stagnant for a long time. I don't know if you noticed, like my subscriber count has not changed in like a year. That's why. But ever since you guys started commenting, like as soon as the video was up, liking, commenting multiple times, it's going up. And I appreciate you so much for that. Also, every reading is timeless. So if you're new, click videos, anything that pops up. I've been working tirelessly on these readings for you guys, um, like the ritual ones, etc. So, and we're getting them out. So because of that, I just wanna get to this. I still wanna put something out on the channel. So, that's what we're gonna do. So this might be shorter than usual ones. Nonetheless, they are still divinely guided and they're still thorough. And if you're new, I'm a medium above all, I channel above all. So everything that you see on this channel is gonna, I don't have a system, everything's different. So today I wanna start by, today I was guided to start with these that I haven't used in a while. Two messages from this deck called Notes from the Universe. Well, that one fell, okay. Well, okay, okay, I guess three. I didn't even see that. Let's read it. This is a message for something, for some, for some of you in regards to something that's been on your mind. And then we'll go from there and see what we pick up on. It's not as if you need anyone. For as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. On the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with me. Oh, wow, how I love you. Love the universe. That's interesting. So, all right. I get this. We'll talk about it in a minute. All there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people, places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. You so rock the universe. Oh, there's a theme going on now. Hmm. Give yourself much more credit. A stranger than strange preponderance to ponder. Semicolon. That's not a semicolon, that's a colon. Dot, dot, right? <laughs> okay. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Oh, see, wow. Even though I used preponderance ineptly, this one is really good. Please ponder. Love the universe. Oh, wow. The, this deck has like, okay, I'm not saying it doesn't have anything to do with love, but they're not all about love. They're, you know, about a lot of things. So the fact that every single one that just flew out here has something to do with a particular person and some kind of situation. Now, it doesn't have to be love. This could be in relation to someone. I want you to know that, especially if you're new. I could be addressing a romantic connection this entire time, but I pick up on energy. And you're, if you're here, I don't believe in accidents. It's for a reason. There's something in here for you. So I could be talking about love this entire time, but if you know this has something to do with a parent or a sibling or a friend or aspects of yourself, whatever the case may be, you can interpret it in that way. You know what, this one on the top is still calling, it's like calling my name. 
and this one. And I'm going to read it and then we're going to talk about this and um, dive a little deeper. Yeah, absolutely. I just keep hearing the phrase, don't let ego get in your way. Don't let ego get in your way. It's time to do something different. I just keep hearing that. Don't let ego get in your way. It's time to do something a little bit different. That sentence just, I just keep hearing it. Like someone's in my ear saying it over and over and over. You are adored. Don't be fooled by the quote players and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable nor loved than you. And I know everyone. Precious, love the universe. Time to make a demonstration. The older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say I love you. They also skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside. Utterly fearless, the universe. Wow, that's a lot to take in, especially the first one. Because it says, for as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. When you begin to find love in people, places where you haven't found it before, it's because you've grown. Those in great relationships aren't always those that are good at relationships. So there is absolutely, okay. Don't be fooled by players and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable nor loved than you. There is definitely some kind of dynamic going on here between you and a person or there was at a certain point, okay where again i kept hearing the phrase like ego was in the way ego was in the way there was more a focus on wanting to change them instead of understanding them you know getting mad at them for not showing up how you for having expectations for not showing up in ways that make you feel loved instead of just understanding it says don't be fooled by yourself there's no one more lovable nor loved than you you understand that? And that comes from your own pain. Remember, this could be vice versa, these projections. So you have this expectation that people have to show up a particular way to make you feel love because of your own issues. Instead of just um, like loving freely. You might not be good in really at relationships, but that doesn't mean that this relationship can't be great if you put the effort into it with this person, right? This was crooked. Might be crooked the whole time. I apologize. I'm not using my usual desk right now. Definitely conflict between you and this person. It says here, the older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say, I love you. So you might be stuck in a loop with this person or vice versa where like if, if things don't go as you expect or they don't do things how you want or they don't respond right away or they don't show up, they don't say hi the way you want to, you dreamt of this morning. It may, it, 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 it might spark in one of you that feeling of not being lovable. And that's more a, a reflection of you. And then the projection happens. Okay? Where your glance isn't as soft. You're not quick to smile and say I love you. Even if you feel it on the inside, you hold back because you want to prove a point. You start playing games. And all you're doing in that case is just poisoning. And then instead what you're doing is projecting hate, self-hate. Pain, anger, okay? You don't take the time or this person to understand. Maybe this person didn't mean anything by that, 
okay? There's a need to just give love a little bit more freely. I'm not saying don't have boundaries, but don't be so hard on yourself and other people. There is hope here because this says, and this might be a lesson for you and someone in particular, or, you know, but that you can also take into a new relationship. It says those in great relationships aren't always those good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those that are bad at relationships. You know? So this isn't about... This is more about... You know, the mindset, the mindset of wanting to be in a relationship. It's about being in the mindset of letting somebody in about, and, and allowing love. And if you can master this art, your chances of having a good relationship with this person, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whatever it may be, greatly increases. If you can separate, and it's hard because a lot of people can't do it them from their toxicity which you wish they didn't have you'll start to separate from your ego and connect more and more with your higher self and that energy of love and unconditional love that is hard for us to do if you can do that if you can hold a relationship with someone and separate and, and whenever they act in a particular way in a way that's triggered by that feeling of not feeling lovable which might cause a reaction or cause them to want control etc if you can see that behavior as one part of them and then see them as who they are as another okay it's like seeing it's like it's like having vision to see somebody and then see their devil their demon right if you can do that, as long as it doesn't get so toxic that it's consuming you and affecting you, which in that case, you got to go, right? But don't go until you try this first. If you can do that, you'll be able to, like it says here, find love in people, places where you haven't found it before. And that's how you know you have grown. And that's what the universe is saying. Because you'll be able to see them and why you love them. And then you'll be able to see the demon. And many times, not always though. Sometimes, like I said, if it gets too bad, sometimes you're so consumed, you got to go. Sometimes, just you being that person in their life that can approach them and have that separation and show love to them, to this side. But when they act toxic, just see it as like, you know, like a... Like as if you're, as if you're looking at a demon, don't engage with it. Don't fight it. Don't challenge it. Don't try to change it. Just know when to step back. What you end up doing is only feeding love to who they really are. And sometimes that allows them to connect with themselves in ways that they can't. Because a lot of times when people struggle with things like this that are, that stem from not feeling lovable, those demons also fill them with a lot of shame. You got to remember one thing at the end of the day, people, everybody goes to sleep with themselves at the end of the, at the end of the day, even if you have someone next to you in the bed. So they may treat you a certain way. They might come out and act a certain way, but they still have to lie in bed and they still have thoughts within themselves about their actions, about the way they treat people, about the way they show up, that they're not going to speak with anyone about. But I'm sure that that is heavier on them than it is on other people and you. They still have to be with themselves and look at that demon. And then they start to feel shame. And if you cannot... If you love this person, you can separate those two things. If you can't separate those two things, that, that shame ultimately consumes them more. Because they already feel it. Anywhere, anyone that has a demon like this has shame deep within them. Because, you know, it causes a reaction. And of course, they, they might not say it, but they feel bad. Like, why am I playing these games? Why do I do this? Like, you know, 
why why do i feel the need why am i having a reaction they might not say anything but that's consuming So again, I'm going to read this again. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. And try to understand them instead of changing them. Right? You could just observe that demon and just be like, they're acting like this because that's the demon. That's not them. But don't try to change that demon. You're not a therapist. That, that's when you cross the line into codependency and doing too much. It's not your responsibility. Like I said, put yourself in a place where you could just see, always approach them with love for that side of them. When that demon comes out, just stare at it like it has a hundred heads. Let the demon, wait till the demon goes away into a corner. Then you interact with that person, that, that person that you love again. And if it gets to a place that it's too much, then you got to take yourself out of it. It's an art. It's literally like an art form. And it's hard. But that's how when you know you've grown. That's when you know you've elevated, when you can do that. You know? I struggle with that a lot because I have my own triggers. I always talk about myself in readings because, like, I can relate and it's examples and stuff, you know? Not to just talk about myself, but it's... But I can do that, for example, with my parents where I wouldn't be able to. I can now, they used to trigger me so much, but now I love them unconditionally, but when they act certain ways, I look at them like, I look at that side like a demon. And then I see that demon as like a crying little baby, you know? And then I feel like, wow, that, you know, you're acting like that, like you're still three years old, but you're 70 something. And then that breaks my heart. And then I just interact with the person that I love, you know? But like I said, in some instances, if it's too much, you gotta know when to. That doesn't mean coddle them, that means exactly what everything we've just been saying. All right, let's get more information on this. Divine, you know what? I don't know what this has to do with the astrology cards, but they told me to pull. They told me to pull three. Cardinal. House three. That's so funny because that's literally what we were talking about. And Jupiter. Cardinal signs are... Aries, Cancer, Libra. Wait, right? Wait, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Cap. Cardinal, instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. House three, early learning, childhood relations. It says early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind, and communication. We were just talking about that. We were just talking about that. About that looking at that demon like, and then seeing that demon for what it is. And like, you know, seeing it like a little baby kicking their legs. Trapped. That's usually what it is. Crying, crying out. Jupiter, grow and expand. And here it says, this is all about growth. When you, I'm going to read it again. When you begin to find love in people, places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. You so rock the universe. They want you to approach this in this way. Jupiter is also the planet of luck. And things are going to change up for you. Not just with this person, this situation. But I promise you this is beneficial in your whole life. In general, this will help your whole life. Let's pull some tarot. I'm going to use this deck that has messages. 
Divine, why do you, why are you sharing this? And like I said, I'm gonna make this a quick reading today, you know, just a, a quick message. Why are you, who is this other person? Tell me more about them. And look, and the three of swords. Guardian of abundance is the page of pentacles. I believe in this deck, the guardian is the page. I might be wrong. So forgive me. Nonetheless, I'm going to read it. And the three of thought is a three of swords. And the three of swords is heartbreak, pain. What is wrong with my chihuahua? Hold on. Cardo! What's up? What's up, baby? Come here. Are you a big bad wolf? But you're four pounds. You're four pounds. Why are you fighting? That's a good boy. Okay, mommy's protected. I'm fine. All right, I'm going to close the door, love. Okay. All right, there. There is a cat that continues to go to the yard. And like, I guess it had a routine of doing that. It doesn't care that there are dogs here barking at it. He just, it's, it's ballsy. Cats are ballsy. Hey, but that goes with this message too. It's like, you don't even care. Like I'm telling you, this is how you disarm the beast. It doesn't always work. So don't be naive. Don't come here with like savior syndrome complex. Like you're going to be the one person to change this. But sometimes they're too far gone. Like no however it'll help the way you interact with them and sometimes that light is everything changes everything guardian of abundance this is a time of great success for you all your plans are blessed and you will move forward perfectly unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future make sure to accept them this card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in this situation. And this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. And this person could be you. Not sure what that has to do with everything, but that's going to be a side message for a lot of you. Okay. But the first sentence, of course, says it says this is a time of great success for you. Okay. So if you wanted, if you had a message about a job or something, if that's like an omen, you know what I'm talking about, then that's for you. Now, three of thought is that heartbreak card. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. There's a need for forgiveness. You know, you're the divine's about to open the door for a new life for you in general. I don't know if it's with this person or without this person. Okay, they're not being clear on that just yet. However, they want you to work. Remember, forgiveness is for you. All of this at the end of the day, whether it brings you together with this person or not, is for you. Tell me more. Successful completion, number 21, which is the world's card. That's the world's card in this deck. Yeah. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You, you, you're justified in feeling joy. A sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Ooh. So what they really want you to do, the world card is closing out old cycles. It's time to close out cycles in the way that you related to love. In the way that you related with this person. Whether it means you coming back with this person or not. It's time for you to approach life differently and then everything is about to change. Like you're about to enter a completely new phase in your life. Do you really want to have that old energy with you? I'm not saying that you're going to, you might find somebody new, but I'm not saying that it's not with this person. I'm talking about the energy, the way that everything's approached. All right.
I'm gonna pull Romance Angels. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, right? Whatever heartbreak there was, really like, you could have been in an, in an energy of a lot of depression, sadness. It's time to let that go and find, you know, and trust that everything happens for a reason. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Tell, give me some information about whoever's watching and this other person. Like, why is this coming out? Oh. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> okay. Because the signs are cautioning you because they want you. You're probably, okay, so it might be somebody that you had issues with. They might be a walking red flag, okay? I got to be honest. And you might have red flags too, but they want you when you interact with this person again to be able to see them. To be able to see them. You can still have a relationship with this person. They will, they will either spiritually awaken which this card always means to me, with you. Or you'll be able to just label them as one of those people that you can love for who they are, but they have a demon attached, you know? But a lot of this is about, it, it was a lesson for you to be able to accomplish what we spoke about in the beginning because it's gonna help you on your new journey. Hold on. What is going on? But now we have the reconciliation card that comes out. Oh my God. But you know what? Like I said, reconciliation doesn't have to be a reconciliation to be in a relationship with them. It could just be someone from your past is returning to your life. It could just be you learning how to have this person in your life one way or another instead of having to just cut them off. But for some of you, it is a reconciliation. For whatever reason, they don't want to specify because I feel like it's 60-40. Either way, they do want to encourage you, unless it gets really bad, to use this as practice. Have this person in your life and because you do love them. And, and see the demons and, and, and learn how to love. And just be that light. Be that light. See if it triggers you or not. See how much you've grown. You're going to have a conversation with this person. Okay? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This person wants to talk to you. Telling you that they want you back in their life. Something fell. They might bring something up in regards to children. Your love life is being affected by children. Or this, they might talk to you about their childhood. Maybe this is going to be one of those deep conversations where they talk about things that affected them, etc. And how they realize what the red flags are and they want to reconcile with you. It is possible because I'm seeing that here. And that they want to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided, guided to take. They want to express their love to you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing. That could be and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Finances and career. Reconciliation, let your friends help you, and playfulness. Ask for and accept support from others. For some of you, this person might be actually having a, a conversation with you saying that they realize whatever in their childhood has affected them and they want to go to therapy. And they want to allow you, they see you as a friend, to help them through this. They want to recapture that playfulness with you. Finances and career. They could be talking to you about a lot of things that they're going through. This is going to be one of those like long conversations, I feel. 
but I'm not sure that this is someone that you're just gonna, it says reconciliation twice, okay? Not sure that this is gonna be like right off the bat, let's just get married, <laughs> because it seems that there's a lot of work that needs to be done here, but they want, this is like, the divine wants you to be able, again, to see how, how you can handle demons. Tell me more about this. Whoa. Did you see how that? Focus on divine and perfect health. Hold on. Cardo! Cardo! Come here. Cardo! You're Lola, not Cardo. You're not the one barking. What's wrong with him? Where are you? When I call him, he's quiet. I'm kind of. I don't know. What's up, Lola? Lola, baby. I don't know what's wrong with them. Focus on divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael. Thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. It goes hand in hand with what we spoke about. You're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes. Okay, so you might have started this reading wondering if it's the you're on if it's correct to allow this person into your life or not or something like that. They want you to know that you're on the right path, okay? Everything's going according to plan. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. You know, this one says, God and Archangel Michael. Okay, here. I have a hard time. You should call upon your angels, but I don't pray to angels. I call upon them and I talk to them. They're like my friends. That's how I approach them and that's how I tell you guys, you know. Like you call them to help you. Say, hey, help me with this. Give me a sign. Do this. That like they're workers. But when I'm praying, I speak to them. Archangel Michael, he's an archangel. But I include God in the mix because he's the boss. Just letting you know. Remember that. Remember, the demons are also angels. They were angels that flipped on God. And became fallen and, and fell. Fallen angels. They're demons. But they have the capacity of doing that. Because they're workers. Are the archangels? You don't have to worry about that. Archangel Michael? I mean, that's God's right hand man. But you gotta include them both. And this is not to talk about religion. Okay? If you don't even believe in angels, that's fine. I'm telling you, if you do, that's my perspective. Okay, so yeah. What does this person want? This other person, tell me. Hold on, what does this other person want? Chariot. They might say they want to come see you. <laughs> There's a reconciliation card. Six of Cups. Or they want to move on. This could either be in the chariot means that they want to move on. Or it could be that they want to come see you. Six of Cups is reconciled. Okay, but now the Eight of Wands is also a travel card. Somebody might be telling you like that they want to come to your house. The Four of Wands is your house. I want to come to see you. Can we plan that and talk? Or they very quickly want to move towards some kind of stability with you. How do they feel about you? Wow. See, they're like torn because, and there's the emperor. They literally love you and see you as your 10 of cups, meaning, and wow, and the two of cups, somebody that they love, somebody that they want to be in a relationship, someone they could build everything with. But they also have this blockage for, they're holding everything to themselves, the four of pentacles. They're stingy with their love. Again, they have that demon attached. 
So this can go one of two ways. However, they want you to see the divinity in this person and see the demon for what it is. This person does love you though. Anything else you want to share here? And there is a conversation happening or a meeting. Ten of Wands. Drop the burdens. Okay, listen to the divine, the sun card. They're guiding you in the right direction. Yes, chariot. If this person says they want to see you, that you should allow it. Because you're going to be in between. Like, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. All right, love and light, you guys.